So when I use the traditional X input option from my steering wheel, I will have a zone here that has no impact at all. It's like a dead zone. Yeah? This function should be working with all games. So and we will put here an, another device soon. So two devices are one X input. Because all games prioritize nowadays the X input. So as you can see when I move now with my stick or with the steering wheel, you will see the steering wheel and the gamepad is one device now. So and all you need to do now is start your game that you choose. And the game will automatically use the X input device that is the steering wheel and this gamepad at the same time. Hello people, I'm Stony, and today I want to show you how to play your games with a steam wheel. I'm talking about all the games that use traditional X360 gamepad input, X input. Yeah? Games like Red Out, games like Grip for example, or games like GTA 5 that you use with virtuality mod or the Luke Ross mods when you play Mafia or Cyberpunk. I'm talking about all these games where you use your gamepad. I want to teach you how to use this, all these games with one gamepad and steering wheel at the same time. You might think, hey, my steering wheel support X input. I just press a button on my steering wheel and I have X input. But there's a problem with this X input on your steering wheel function. When you just use a normal game like GTA 5, you will notice that you can't steer in the middle of the area. Yeah? So when I use the tr traditional X input option from my steering wheel, I will have a zone here that has no impact at all. So you can't steer with this little axis here, you will not able to steer. So we need an anti-dead zone option. When you use this system-wide method, you can just configure it one time and you can basically just play it with one click all your games. All you need is two direct input devices. A steering wheel that has direct input as option and a gamepad that has also direct input. When you have a traditional standard X, Xbox One or Xbox 360 pad, you will be not able to use it as direct input. Your PC will recognize this both devices as one X input device. All you need to do is to visit this page, download this version here, and this is the system-wide version. And this is uh, the version where you need to put it in the game folder, but this version is not working with all games. Here you have a guarantee method, a guarantee method that will 100% work as long as you play recent games because all games prioritize nowadays the X input. When you have three devices here, two direct inputs and one X input device like this here, the game that you start will use this gamepad. Every game will prioritize the X input gamepad and that's why is it possible to make one X input device with both <laughs> devices. Man, that sounds really strange. Let's just do it. So when you download the file, you extract the file, extract the file. You can keep this file wherever you want. It doesn't matter. For demonstration purposes, we will keep this on my desktop. Get sure that you have only direct input devices. No other X input should be here. And here you can add the devices. So we will add now the steering wheel and the gamepad. We start with the steering wheel. You put your steering wheel inside. And now you just uh, configure it all buttons. You can also press auto. So it will try to find the correct buttons. The steering wheel is correct, D-pad will be correct. And the start buttons are wrong. So I need to do now manually a few buttons correctly. Bumper, back button, start. Oops, so you see this gamepad here? This is a gamepad now, an X input. So and we will put here an, another device soon. So two devices are one X input. And all games will use this X input. And we can eliminate the dead zone. 
because just using the steering wheel with X input option will not work with, with many normal games. You will not be able to steer precisely when you use just the X input mode on your steering wheel. So all buttons are ready. And here is now the most important part why we're doing this right now. Because to translate to gamepad to steering wheel it will not work. You will have a, a zone where you not be able to steer. It's like a dead zone. Yeah? You go here to the left thumb, press here on presence and press here on 100%. That's it. This function should be working with all games. When you look now on the stick you see the different. The green cross will jump. Bam! Did you see this? How it jumps. Now you will see the wheels moving when you just do this a little bit. And this is not the case when you just play with X and put on your steering wheel. Now we add a gamepad so you can switch when you play a game like GTA 5. For me it's really important to fly with a gamepad. We add now a gamepad. Press on add. Look for your direct input gamepad. Boom. It's already assigned for me automatically correctly. Should I demonstrate how I assign the buttons? I think you will figure it out. Here is no dead zone, anti-dead zone, uh, ne nothing necessary. Just configure the keys and you're ready to go. So as you can see, when I move now with my stick or with the steering wheel, the crosses. So this is also case now here on the, the official gamepad devices. You will see the steering wheel and the gamepad is one device now. Wow, that's all. So and all you need to do now is start your game that you choose. And the game will automatically use the X input device that is the steering wheel and this gamepad at the same time. You can also get sure that you set here prioritize X input. This should be by default on. But even when you set a different setting here, the most games will prioritize the X input device. But it doesn't matter which game you start now, all games should automatically work now. <laughs> With both devices as one device. Isn't it genius? And you can go even further, but I never try this. You can even now add a flight stick. You would be able to put a flight stick here on top of that and to make it even more crazier. Use the same pedals, the steering wheel pedals, and just a stick it would be enough here to make it crazy. And imagine you play GTA 5 in virtual reality, you drive with a maybe better steering wheel than this here. You switch to gamepad for whatever situation you like. You sit already with mouse and keyboard, so you can also just play with mouse and keyboard, you aim with your head precisely like with mouse in GTA 5 example or San Andreas and when you have additional flight stick this would be even more immersive. You can even make here add games uh, profiles yeah, that you use different button layouts from game to game. Thank you for watching. I wish you a nice time.